What's up, everyone? Giant Opinions here. Uh, some breaking MLB news. The David Price and Mookie Betts trade has finally been finalized. It is restructured, so the Dodgers are getting, obviously, David Price and Mookie Betts. And in exchange, the Dodgers are sending over Alex Verdugo, Connor Wong, and uh, Jeter Downs. And uh, uh, the three-team trade is still here. And the Twins are still going to get Kenta Maeda, but they're also getting $10 million in cash considerations from the Dodgers in exchange. The Dodgers are getting Brestrar, Gratterall, and I gotta say, I think this whole thing revamped is better for all of the teams. Boston is getting way more players now, and I think it it will help Boston. I heard that uh, they were really they were really intrigued by Jeter Downs, and he reminds them of uh, Dustin Pedroia, the type thing. He put up some really solid numbers in Double A too, so he is ready to get called up in the next year, probably, so it could fit a position of need for the Red Sox, and then obviously, uh, Connor Wong, he actually does alright too, he's not that bad, uh, the Red Sox are still kind of building for the future, so I do like it from their standpoint, the Dodgers obviously, you got Mookie Betts, top five player in the MLB, arguably, you got David Price, who's who's had a nice little bounce back, he's obviously not a Cy Young self again, but he's still a pretty above average starting pitcher, and uh, the Red Sox are going to be paying half of his remaining $96 million. And then finally, the Twins, they get Ken Tomaita and $10 million in exchange to give up the 83rd-ranked prospect in all of baseball, Rustar Gratterall. Uh, now, I mean, the Twins, they were really intrigued by Ken Tomaita. I can't really blame them. They did give up uh, a really good prospect, but I'd say that the Dodgers kind of need a lot of relief help, and the Twins, they kind of, uh, they're, they're doing okay right now. They can afford to give him up. And I think he will. I think he'll fit with the Dodgers really well. He'll probably get called up this year. He could be their closer at some point. You never know. Uh, so, and the Twins—they get Ken Tomita. I've always liked him. He's not going to blow you away, but he does throw some good stuff, and he is. I'd say he's above average too. So I like the deal from all sides. If I were to pick a winner, I mean, obviously you got to go with the Dodgers because you are getting David Price and Mookie Betts. So it's kind of hard to say that they did not win the whole thing, but. Boston got a solid return, too. It was way better than before, so you got to be pumped up for that. And then the Twins. Honestly, the Twins, they kind of won here, too, getting $10 million and Kenta Maeda uh, for a prospect who didn't really fit in their system or are on in their organization. I th say that's a pretty good win. $10 million and then a starting pitcher to help you. I mean, it, it'll help them in the long run, and I think it's a really good trade for all teams. So The, the trade is set in stone. Finally, it's been, like, so long. Uh, so much speculation and all that, but it's all gone. Let me know what you guys think, uh, and I'll see you all in the next one.